Hey, what's going on guys? It's Novi here, and today I'm just bringing you all a another Fallout DLC review. Uh, today I'm reviewing the Vault Tech Workshop DLC. Came out, um, I guess kind of yesterday, last last night, around there. Um, I thought that this was a very good DLC, it was a big step, and I thought it was a lot better than the Contraptions DLC, because um, in my uh, other one, where I was reviewing the Contraptions DLC, like I said in that, it felt like the Wasteland Workshop, this one feels like a very good, um, like I haven't completely finished it and all, um, like in the gameplay you see behind us, this is right as soon as I got into the vault and started all the missions and stuff, so I'm not too far into the DLC, but I am reviewing it right now, um, I thought I, this is just the start, I have progressed and I've built up my vault a little bit. I thought it was really cool. I thought that it was really cool to finally be placed in the overseer spot and you run the experiments just like vault -Tec did. Uh, you finally get to see like what it was all like, the lore of the game and all that. Um, to me, I feel like this DLC is probably one of the best out of the ones that they've already given us. Um, and I know that's not talking about much because there hasn't been a lot of story ones. Even though this wasn't a huge story one, it's just something really new to the uh, Fallout like. Uh, franchise and DLCs and stuff like in the last ones you had a lot of story ones this one is basically based around just building up a vault and just seeing what it's like I really like that I really thought it was cool and there's also a story with the overseer I know you can just go in a shooter and progress from there but if you don't it's it's actually really cool and you hear a lot of the story and she'll have you progress in missions and you get to run experiments on the uh, people that come into your vault and I thought that that was really cool um, but yeah, uh, like I said, it's, it's honestly one of my favorite ones, and I would actually really recommend this one, because it's not that much money, and it's, it will definitely be worth your dollar. Um, I thought that, the, like I said before, that, uh, it was just one of the best. I mean, <laughs> there's not really much I can go on other than that. I, th I would rank this right after, of course, Far Harbor, because Far Harbor is a very story-based DLC, and this one isn't completely story-based. You have a lot of building aspects to it, but it, yet again, it's one of the best. Um, so I would rate this one, like, up there, like, I thought it, I don't know, for the story, it's not the best. Like I've been saying, for building, it's really cool because it's something completely different. You build a vault up from the ground up and you can expand. Uh, like you'll see me during this gameplay, I go into one area and I keep on expanding. And you can go into these different areas and just keep on building onto your vault, of course, with vault space. Um, and, and mods also can help you expand it and make it a lot better than it already is. But yeah, that's about all I can say about this DLC. Um, not the most in-depth review, but I, I, it's about all I can say. I, I thought it was a pretty good DLC, Bethesda did something new, and be looking out for the next DLC review of Nuka World next uh, month uh, in August. That's when it's coming out. I have the season pass, so I'll get it uh, that day, and I'll try to make a review the day that it comes out, right after I, I, I'm all done with all my other stuff. But So be looking out for that, and look out for other changes on the channel, and thank you for watching.